What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today we're doing a tier list. Now the last tier list I did was just the new Pokemon. Uh, this time it's going to be the whole Pokedex. We've been playing for about a month uh, and it is a very fun format. I would argue one of the most fun formats we've had in a long time. That being said, uh, I am very tired. So just a warning, I might be a little bit less energetic in this video because uh, I stayed up till 3 a.m preparing a team for a tournament today and then i slept through registration and then i made breakfast had coffee and then fell asleep until like 1 p.m so it is it is like the drink coffee and fall asleep again type of sleepy so let's just go ahead and get into this if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time do me a favor leave a like in the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because i bring you daily competitive pokemon content and that's my comment question of the day which is nothing just say hi in the comments or like tell me what you think the best and worst pokemon are uh but i'm also going to link this tier list in the description down below uh so you guys can send me what you guys think uh on twitter or whatever wherever you want to like just send it discord anything but yeah let's go ahead and get into it this is going to be every pokemon that is fully evolved and being used in the scarlet and violet decks uh so yeah uh also for some of the pokemon i might just go ahead and like not talk about them too in depth because they just don't see usage so like for the first one obviously venomoth is the first pokemon we have to take a look at um and my phone just rang let me actually silence that but yeah venomoth is a poison and bug type now that isn't like the worst type ever but it isn't exactly an in-demand type uh 90 90 it's it's pretty mediocre uh you can get away with like I don't know tinted lens to deal a little bit extra damage across the board but i would say venomoth sits solidly in d tier not unusable because it has some tools uh cloister i'm just gonna go ahead and throw that one in c tier it's not a super in demand pokemon um but it's also not like the worst pokemon it's pretty arguably better than like venomoth uh by like a long a long shot but not like to the point where it's good you know uh chancy now chancy i actually have to check something for if we take a look at chancy uh, usually the way that it's run is as like an Eviolite Pokemon, but Chansey actually is only as good as its partners are because the most, the most common way people run Chansey is with, hold on, let me make sure this is VGC 2023. So we have like the correct moveset. Um, it has minimize. Nope. It lost minimize guys. Chansey lost minimize. That is an instant D tier. Okay. So it used to run an evasion strat or hang on, let me see if there's like a good guard split Pokemon. That might help it out a bit, but wow. Oh my god, there's no guard split. Dude, Chansey's done. Chansey's done. No, okay, that's an awful Pokemon this gen. Okay, I'm glad you guys don't have to deal with that. Grafai Eye, I'm going to go ahead and put it in B tier. Um, it's a prankster support Pokemon. Uh, it has access to a decent amount of tools, uh, but it doesn't have like fake out, which kind of sucks. It does have, you know, taunt and that cool new move doodle, which isn't super reliable, but it is nice for enabling other Pokemon like uh, slacking if you want to run that. Uh, and of course, it does have like stab on like gunk shot and stuff. So yeah, it's it's a solid Pokemon, uh, but it's only speed control is scary face, which is not that great. You'd prefer Thunder Wave uh, just strictly outclassed by Grim Snarl, but definitely usable. Uh, I think Paldean Tauros is going to sit solidly in B tier. Actually, you know, I'm going to shift everything down one. I'm going to shift everything down one. Yeah. Because B tier is going to be full of stuff that should not be B tier if I put these guys here. Okay, so uh, Paldean Taurus, probably C tier. Uh, I C tier is going to be like definitely usable. You can put it on a team. It's just going to take a little bit of work, just so you know. Um, so Paldean Taurus Fire uh, is basically just like a, a bootleg Arcanine. Uh, it has Will-O-Wisp. It has Intimidate. Uh, it's able to break screens with uh, Raging Bull which is very cool uh close combat pokemon and i believe it also gets bulldozed so it has like some kind of speed control uh but yeah it's it's just like a solid pokemon uh not not too much notable about it uh gyarados i'm gonna put that in b tier gyarados is an intimidate pokemon and while intimidate isn't super useful uh it is nice just to have uh and it's also like a really decent grass type terra pokemon uh grass type not only allowing you to resist the electric moves that would uh annihilate you before uh but also allow you to uh be immune to like rage powder or sleep powder or spore or whatever so like that's that's a very solid uh ditto is going to sit solidly in d or f tier i think we're gonna put it in f tier because like there are very uh no let's put it in d tier actually ditto is solid for one thing and that's copying and then losing to don dozo because you have less hp you just lose every time uh vaporeon 
I actually think Vaporeon's gonna be a C tier for me. Uh, Vaporeon does have access to, like, some very nice tools. I believe it is. Yeah, it is a haze user. It has, like, Icy Wind. Um, does it get Muddy Water? Yeah, no, this is, like, a solid Pokemon. Um, yeah, no, this is just, like, a, an okay Pokemon. Yawn. Yeah, uh, I see no reason why Vaporeon isn't gonna be, like, decent. As a matter of fact, you could, like, get rid of a lot of Vaporeon's weaknesses by, like, tearing into, like, I don't know, a fire type and then giving it Water Absorb. I don't know if that's the best usage for that, but yeah, Water Absorb is, like, a cell tool. Uh, I think that I'm gonna put this little guy in D tier, mainly because, uh, Jolteon doesn't have a history of being the best Pokemon. Uh, it is, like, super fast and sits at the top of the Sword, not Sword and Shield, uh, Scarlet and Violet Speed tier, uh, except for just a couple of things, but... It doesn't get, like, Electroweb, which is pretty bad, and that's, like, the only reason you would ever run it. Uh, and it doesn't have, like, just the tools it needs to succeed. Does it get Taunt? Yeah, no. It's a fast electric type, but it doesn't hit that hard, and it doesn't have support tools to make full usage of, of that speed tier. Flareon is actually something I kind of want to look into in the future. Uh, it has a pretty bad defense stat and, like, bulk overall. Uh, unless you're talking about, like, Special Bulk. Uh, but I think it is, like, an okay Pokemon. It's a Guts Flare Blitz user, so if you wanted to run, like, Toxic Orb, you could do that. Or even, like, Flareon can now actually run Flame Orb. Um, and it won't get burned as long as it's a Fire type, but you can, like, Terra into a Normal type. Uh, and then have... That's like... Oh, wait, that's actually something that's kind of cool. Uh, you can Terra into a Normal type and then run, like, Fas... Not Scary Face run like facade, uh, flare blitz. It's not that fast. So maybe you can also run like flame charge. Um, oh, it doesn't get flame charge. That's kind of bad. Agility? No, no. Very bad Pokemon. Uh, Will-O-Wisp. Tell me you get that. It gets Will-O-Wisp. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a D tier, but it's still like interesting. I want to point that out. Dragonite. I think Dragonite is a solid A tier in my opinion. Uh, we'll put a B tier. So Dragonite would be a lot better if Chen Pao was around because Chen Pao actually passively lowers the defense stats of everything around it. However, Dragonite is still like super, super good. Um, it's just not seen like the same usage it was before. Like I think Picolytics for like the review format uh, or like the early version of the format had a lot more Dragonite usage. Where is Dragonite usage right now? Dragonite, 7% usage. Where's Gyarados? Seven per yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, where is, I can, I can like not find Dragonite on here for the life of me. Okay, yeah, it's like above Dragapult and below Tatsugiri. Um, but it's also just like a solid like extreme speed Pokemon. It doesn't have to extreme speed in like Choice Band, but that's the most common set. Uh, you're gonna like pretty much always see Dragonite um, running an offensive set in this format with like Inner Focus to prevent Intimidate and flinches. Uh, it like almost always runs extreme speed, but it won't always Terra immediately. Uh, but you like Terra normal. Uh, you could run Dragon Dance if you really want to in like a Life War, but it's like a solid offensive Pokemon that uh, is able to annihilate Trick Room teams even like without being slow just because of that. I think Azumarill is also going to be put solidly in B tier. It's a really nice uh, Parish Song Pokemon that has access to um, some pretty strong moves coming off a huge power as well as a Belly Drum set. So that's just like instant B tier. Uh, Jumpluff, you get Sleep Powder, that's like the main thing. Yeah, uh, Strength Sap still. Yeah, not that bulky, decently fast. Tailwind. Okay, um, that's gonna be a C tier for me. I think that you can get away with it. It's just not that great. Also, sorry if you guys hear noises, they're doing like construction outside and it's very, very annoying for me too. Sun Floor is an F tier, I don't even have to go into that. My light turns off. Uh, Espeon is going to be another solid, uh, D tier for me. It has sort of the same issues as Umbreon, where it's like a fast offensive Pokemon, but it, like, just gets outclassed by other things that do similar things to it. Uh, while it does have Magic Bounce, that isn't, like, the most useful thing in this format. And also, there's, like, a decent amount of Pokemon that just one-shot it, so not great. Umbreon, however, is going to B tier. Umbreon is a Pokemon that, uh, as the years have gone on, has only become more and more popular. Uh, due to the uh, ability Inner Focus comboed with like Snarl, Taunt, um, does it still get Moonlight? Yeah, it still gets Moonlight and like Foul Play. Like that's always going to be a phenomenal set and like you can't tell me otherwise. Like this is just a great Pokemon. Uh, along with Leftovers, it becomes extremely annoying to deal with. So yeah, Umbreon just like instant B tier for me. Murkrow is going to be 
for what it does, it should be A tier. It enables a lot of Pokemon, but like it itself is not like a super great Pokemon, uh, but I think it is A tier. I think somehow Murkrow, like don't get me wrong, it's like bottom of A tier. Like some people be like, why is Murkrow above all these guys? Listen, Murkrow, it enables Golden Go. Uh, it enables Garchomp. It enables Breloom, which is really scary when you like really get into things. So that, yeah, no, that's that's where it belongs. I think it's it's like the only Tailwind Prankster Pokemon that we have in the game. Um, its main competition is like Talonflame and Kilowattro, which are not even in the same league as it. It can run a bulky set with like Eviolite, Icy Wind, Foul Play, uh, Tailwinds and like taunts like it's or in Haze. Haze is also like super useful for like dealing with, you know, Dragon Dance, Dragonite, Dragon Dance, uh, Gyarados, Dondozo, uh, Belly Drum, Azumarill. Like that's just such a good move. Uh, Slow King is an instant C for me just because it's like a bulky trick room Pokemon. Uh, Scissor is going to be a it's going to be like bottom of B. I think that like it is a Pokemon that you will see on teams, it's just not all that common right now due to how good like Torkoal is. Um, and Torkoal isn't even like that good, but like Torkoal is like a thing, so you, like Scizor struggles a bit. Also, there's like good fire types, but I still think it's like a B tier Pokemon. Uh, but indeed, he does kind of shut it down at times. Ursa Ring, that's gonna be a D tier. It's just like a guts Pokemon. Uh, this guy's not legal, so we're not gonna put him in here. I think Espathra is a C tier. It's a scary Pokemon, don't get me wrong. Uh, it also has access to like a really cool move called Lumina Crash which, take a look, Lumina Crash, 100% chance to lower the target special defense step by two, and it's 80 base power, and this thing gets speed boost. If you combo it with like a Hydreigon, it is one of the scariest Pokemon to deal with. And honestly, Covert Cloak isn't even that bad of an option on it because it allows you to do the Hydreigon stuff even more effectively. So uh, yeah, I think it's a really good Pokemon. Also Sash, Sash is also quite good. So uh, if it didn't have Lumina Crash though, this would be bottom tier. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, it'd be a bottom tier Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be C tier. Flamigo is a solid D tier from me. It's only going to be good for like co-star strats and even then like Murkrow's on how many teams? What's the percentage of Murkrow usage that just shuts down Flamigo? Um, 27%. Yeah, no, that's that's not that's not doing it. Uh, Rabska, cool stuff. Uh, D tier though. It, it can Revival Blessing though. I think it could find some usage. Uh, I think that Pelipper as good of a Pokemon as it is, um, it's like the only, it's the only rain setter, so it kind of default goes to B tier, in my opinion, at like the very, very bottom of B tier, because I actually don't think Pelipper is like super amazing. Yeah, it's like a tailwind rain setter, but um, it's the sort of Pokemon where like it exists solely to set up um, Drizzle, and it like doesn't, it doesn't do much beyond that. It's like tailwind, hurricane, it lost Scald, which is really bad. So now it has to run like Hydro Pump uh, if it runs that at all and like protect and like that's the set and you usually run like Focus Sash. So yeah, that's going to be like a just barely B tier. Uh, Masquerain, I would say, is it 100 base speed or 90? I forgot. Oh, it's 80. Hello. Why did I think it was better? Oh, it's 100 base special attack. I remember it getting like a buff. Tailwind. Intimidate. It's a Tailwind Intimidate Pokemon. Let's just toss it in like a D and be generous. Uh, I think that Breloom is actually solidly B tier uh, because Breloom is scary. Uh, it has Technician. It has 70 base speed, meaning it's the fastest Spore user barring uh, the Toad's Cool line, uh, which technically is faster, but it has negative priority on all of its status moves, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, like Spore, Rock Tomb, Bullet Seed, and uh, I think Mach Punch is like a really solid set with like a Focus Sash. You could even run Protect like over Mach Punch, uh, but I think this is always going to be like a very good Pokemon in the format, and it's very hard to deal with if there's a Tailwind. Like I said, Murkrow makes it like super, super good, so that's going to be a B tier for me. Uh, I think that Sableye is going to be another C tier. It's just a support Pokemon. Camerupt's probably D tier. I, I wouldn't quite put it in F just yet. Um... Torkoal is going to be A tier for me. I do think I, I do think Torkoal is like very scary. Uh, it is it has like the same thing as Pelipper where it exists to set up a weather, but Torkoal under Trick Room can be like terrifying for teams. Like it is difficult to deal with if you just let it get it off. Uh, like because it has like eruption and like one of the lowest speed tiers in the game. Like that is an A tier Pokemon. Grumpig's going to F. It does nothing. Baynet's going to F. It does nothing. 
Uh, Salamence has seen almost no usage, but I can't bring myself to put it in C tier. I think it's going to be a B tier for me. Maybe C tier. Let me take a look at Salamence real quick. Um, also, let's take a look at Salamence on here. See how other people are running it. 3% usage. Uh, Terra Steel, Dragon Claw Protect, Dragon Dance, Tailwind. Uh, I mean... I mean... I could see it doing something. Maybe. You could probably use it as like... A clear aim. It, like almost like Garchomp, right? Almost like Garchomp. And you get like a Dragon Dance off. And like you just go for like... Earthquake, Dragon Claw. Um, I don't know, maybe Terra Blast. And you like always run Terra Steel. Maybe? I, I don't know. Like it's, uh, yeah. Mm, you're just barely B tier. Fine. Okay. I, I can't put it any lower than that. Uh, Staraptor, that's a C tier mon. It's an intimidating Tailwind Pokemon, but it's like only going to be used for Final Gambit stuff and it's exclusively outclassed by Annihilate now. Uh, Krigatoon, that's an F tier. Pachirisu, does it still get follow me and nuzzle? Because that's how I decide this. Yeah. Uh, Pachirisu is going to probably be like a C tier. Just a good support Pokemon. Gastrodon, also going to be a C tier. Uh, decent support Pokemon. Miss Magus. That is, funnily enough, pretty usable in this format because of the speed tier. So I'm going to put it in C tier. Uh, Honchkrow is going to be a D tier for me as much as it hurts me. It's just like a Tailwind Pokemon with a little bit more bulk, but a pretty bad typing. So, like, defensively. So you're going to have to, like, Terra it if you want to get any use out of it. Uh, so yeah. Garchomp is an instant A tier. Oh my god. So Garchomp is very difficult to deal with right now. Um, you need to burn it. And the Pokemon that, like, outspeed it to burn it are, like, lower tier Pokemon. Like, Miss Magus. Like, that's one that can do it. Uh, but it almost always runs, like, Clear Amulet to avoid Intimidates. Uh, Swords Dance, it will tend to Terra Ground to boost the power of its uh, Earthquakes. And then, like, just run, like, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and, like, Protect. Like, this is one of the scariest Pokemon in the format right now. Top tier, 100%. How many teams is it on? Uh, it's the second most used Pokemon, so yeah. Possible S tier, in my opinion. <clears throat> but I think it's just, like, barely not. Uh, Lucario, it's... Oh, I just inspected the page element. Uh, it is probably C tier. Like it's, there are better fighting types, but it does have inner focus, which is quite good. Uh, Hippowdon going to be another C tier for me. Uh, sand isn't terribly good. And if you run it, you're going to run Tyranitar. Actually, there is one like scary sand team that's going around. Um, you're C tier just because you're like a fast fake out uh, poison fighting type with access to like close combat. Luminion's gonna be a D tier. It does get Tailwind. I do have to point that out. It does get Tailwind, but it's not great. Uh, D tier for uh, Leafeon, because if I recall, Leafeon actually like doesn't really do much. Um, yeah, and it doesn't even get Sleep Powder. It's a Chlorophyll Pokemon without Sleep Powder, which is an instant D tier. Like, they're carried by Sleep Powder. It's really bad. Uh, Gallade, funny enough, I think Gallade's a B tier. That's an insane thing to say. But Gallade got a major buff this gen that I want to talk about in a future video. But Sharpness now effectively made Sacred Sword, a move that uh, already ignores stat changes, a 135 base power move coming off of 125 attack. Uh, and like, yeah, you can like intimidate the guy, but like if you run like Clear Amulet or Focus Sash or whatever, like it's always going to deal damage. Um, so yeah, like this is like an answer to Garganical. This is an answer to Dondozo. Uh, it just hits everything with a no drawbacks, stronger than close combat move. Uh, now, uh, Psycho Cut is also decently strong, has a high crit ratio. Uh, yeah, Psycho Cut is now 105 base power before stab. So it's better than Zen Headbutt, which is the old move it had to run. Like, that is a huge buff for Gallade. As low as its speed is, like, it can it can deal a lot of damage to this format. So that is an instant B tier. And Frostlass, uh, just like a fast ice type. Uh, actually, like, a, a decent way of dealing with Garchomp, I guess, but, like, not that great. Uh, I think the Rotoms are all gonna be a B tier from me, except for... Because they do the same thing. Like, let's be real. Uh, Rotoms are all whatever type they want to be right now. I've seen Fire-type Rotom, Rotom Wash, uh, and I've seen, like, Water-type Rotom Fire. Like, you can run any Rotom. <laughs> it's just a matter of which move you want less accuracy on. Uh, your, your, like, pre-existing stab or your Terra move. Like, it's, yeah. Uh, Rotom fan, though, not that great. Actually, what if we can make it great? 
what if we can make a great no nah, it's gonna be a c tier i was gonna say like what if like rotom fan what if this is finally it's time to shine uh what if we like do all right this is like a huge tangent uh but let's say we run like like a bulky rotom fan set but we actually now have access to air slash as like uh, a secondary like stab on top of thunderbolt but the terror that we run just turns it into Rotom Wash again. So now Rotom Wash also beats Grass type. So we run like Terra Water with like Terra Blast. Eh? Crazy, huh? And then like Nasty Plot? Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Uh, walls out Garchomp, by the way, which is really funny. So yeah, uh, that's that's quite funny. Uh, Lilligant is a B tier. Combos with Torkoal very well, but I don't think it's actually like as good as everything else. Uh, Basculin, that's going to be like an F tier. Uh... Crocodile is going to be a C tier. Uh, like it just gets outclassed by Garchomp and the Intimidate no longer makes it that great. Uh, Zorark is historically pretty bad, but it just, it's just like a Focus Sash and Pot Pokemon. It's very good. I think Gothitelle is going to be a B tier. Uh, trapping things in, especially for Dondozo teams and like removing their checks for Dondozo and then sweeping a Dondozo is very good. Um, so it's it's just like always just going to be a good Pokemon. Saw's Buck, that's going to be like a D tier. I don't even know what... I don't want to put an F tier. I'll put an F here, why not? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Um, Amoongus, I think that this is actually like an A tier Pokemon right now. A lot of people will probably say like it's B tier, but I do think Amoongus still has a place in the format as like an absolute top tier. Because if we take a look, you know, it's like super, super high usage. Uh, but also with the rise of Mousehold, Amoongus are now running like Rocky Helmet more than ever, uh, which allows it to just annihilate Mousehold, switch out, and get all of its health back. Uh, Alola Molo, that's going to be a D tier, uh, just like a bulky Pokemon. Uh, same with you. Uh, you're also gonna go D tier. I, like Haxorus is strong, right? But it's not like it's not like Garchomp strong, which really sucks. Um, I suppose for snow teams, you can be charitable and give Bear Tick like a, a, a C tier. Um, this guy, let's put him in C tier. Like it's it's faster than Garchomp could one shot it. Like that, whatever. Uh, Defiant Bravery, also a C tier. It's going to have like, it, Intimidate's not that big, so that's why it's like not amazing. Uh, Hydreigon, that's another A tier. So Hydreigon, this gen is like super good uh, because it has the ability to Terra into a wide variety of types that all lose a ground uh, weakness because they're uh, levitating. So like Fire is quite good with like Heat Wave, uh, Nasty Plot, Tailwind. You don't even need Nasty Plot, by the way. You can just run like um, a Life Orb on it and still do a lot of damage. You could just do, like, this, actually. And this is, like, one of the scariest Pokemon in the format right now. Because, like, you can run, like, Heat Wave with Terra Fire, or you could run, like, uh, Flash Cannon. Here, Flash Cannon with Terra Steel is another quite good one. Or you could run... Uh, oh, it doesn't get Sludge Bomb. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I saw Terra Poison once in a while, but yeah. Like, the point is, like, a lot of the Terra types that Hydreigon wants to be, it already has access to those moves, or those types of moves before it Terras, uh, which will allow it to not have to like run Terra Blast in a lot of sets. Uh, and it is able to like, you know, Terra Steel and then wall out Garchomp and one shot it with like Draco Meteor if it doesn't Terra uh, Ground. Uh, and it's also like fairly bulky, like giving it that Steel type instead of Dragon and Dark uh, allows it to eat a lot of hits. 92, 90, 90 is actually bulkier than most Pokemon in the game. So yeah. Uh, Volcarona, that's gonna be a B tier. I think it's actually quite good right now, but it's like underexplored just because of uh, you know, it's it being like Volcarona in an early format. It'll pick up later. Uh, you could run like Flame uh, Flame Body with uh, Rocky Helmet, and that's like another mouse hold check because they're going to burn themselves eventually on you, and then they're just done. Uh, Town Flame's a B tier. It's just like bootleg Murkrow with the access to Will-O-Wisp, uh, but a little less reliable than Murkrow, which is weird to say. Uh, Vivalon's going to be a C tier because it has Sleep Powder and like Compound Eyes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you are F tier, Pyro is bad Pokemon, Floor just is D tier because it's not notable, not notable. Um, I'm going to put Dragalge in C tier uh, because it is, it is an adaptability Pokemon and it has like an okay special attack stat. Like, what is this? Uh, 97, decently bulky. Does it get Flash Cannon? It doesn't get Flash Cannon. I suppose you can run like a Terra Blast set and then become like a pure Steel type. And that's like a pretty decent Pokemon here. But yeah, like it, it's it's not super great, but it's interesting. Uh, you could also tear a poison, become like a pure poison type and uh, get like adaptability boost on your adaptability boost, which I looked it up the other day. That's a 2.25 times multiplier. If you decide to do that, uh, it's not as extreme as people thought it would be. Uh, Clauncher, probably D tier, honestly, it doesn't do much. 
Sylveon, uh, that's a B tier. Sylveon is like always going to be super solid in BGC. Hyper Voice, Yawn, uh, Terra Blast, and like Terra Fire is actually like really good because it's uh, a fairy stab before you Terra. So yeah. Alucha, it's always going to be like an unburdened Pokemon, so it's like never going to be below C tier. So Yudra is going to be another C tier. Not quite notable. Kind of bulky though. Uh, Klefki, just like another okay support Pokemon. Uh, Avalug is going to go into D tier. I don't think it's that great personally. Uh, but it can do like Iron Defense Body Press stuff. Noivern is a mediocre Tailwind Pokemon, throwing it in the C tier for this one. Gumshoes, Adaptability Pokemon, let's put it D tier, because uh, it's not like fast enough to do anything. Uh, and also not bulky at all. Uh, Crabominable, I'm going to put it in D tier. It's like, it's going to hit hard, but it's not that strong. Uh, I think Oricorio, I'm going to throw in the C tier just because Re Revelation Dance is like scary. Uh, both of the Lycan Rocks that aren't this one are going to go into c tier but the sand rush lichen rock i'm tempted to put it in b tier right now because it actually is like a decent pokemon but i i don't know um I'm, I'm not labeling them like within order of the i'm not ordering them within tiers but like it would be like top of c tier in my opinion uh because it like it right now it runs like focus sash uh rock slide endeavor and like does it get close combat whatever like the last move is i forget what's the last move Yeah, it gets close combat. Like, that's like a move it can run that's like solid. So yeah, it's it's a fine Pokemon. Sometimes it runs Protect, actually. Or actually, no, it's Endure. It's Endure that it runs because it makes it more um, reliable. So it's Rock Slide, uh, Endure, Endeavor, and um, what was the last move? Why am I forgetting the last move? Protect. Pretty sure. Like, that's like the set right now. So yeah, uh, and Sand Rush. It's just a thing. It's just a thing right now because it like eliminates a lot of the bulkier Pokemon in the format in like one hit. Because uh, Sand Chip will pick it up afterwards. Uh, Tox Specs, that's going to be a D tier. Just not good in VGC without Scald. Um, I'm going to put Mud's Deal in C tier because Stamina with like Terrasilize could be interesting. Uh, Lurantis, C tier. It can still use Leaf Storm with Contrary, I'm pretty sure, so that's fine. Uh, C tier for Salazzle. It's just like a fake out fast. Uh, Lanthier Pokemon. Zarina, uh, C tier, but like top of C tier. It stops priority moves, but it's also like a halfway decent grass type. Well, we have so many left to rank, so I'm going to try to speed run this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. My voice just cracked from being tired and it's early morning. Uh, Oranguru, uh, that's going to be another C tier. It's not the best Trick Room Pokemon, but it's not like on par with everything up here. Like it's, it's a good Trick Room Pokemon, don't get me wrong. Like another like top of C tier, um, but like it's not B tier like the rest of these guys. Passimian, that's going to be like a... It's a Defiant Pokemon, but like we have Annihilate now, so it's D tier. Uh, Palisand, decent grass type. Kamala, it's just like not good. D tier. Mimikyu is going to be put into... Do I want to put into B tier? There, I mean, I think Mimikyu is actually still a good Pokemon. It doesn't see that much uses right now. Um, but it is like a solid Pokemon into like um, Garchomp. So like, and, and also Dragonite and like any like setup Pokemon that runs like Clear Amulet right now. So... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to throw it in a B tier almost exclusively because, like, it, it is good into a lot of things, but, like, a lot of people just aren't running it right now. Uh, Greedence, a D tier, just like a fat Pokemon. Corviknight's a C tier. Tailwind, bulky Pokemon, Iron Defense, Body Press. Uh, Rain Abuser, going to be C tier here. Colossal, honestly, it's it's a D tier. It hurts to put you there, buddy, but, like, you are not that great. Uh, Flapple, that's D tier. Uh, C tier for... Appleton because it can actually like Terra Grass and run like Leech Seed, Body Press, Iron Defense, uh, uh, Apple Acid sets. So like that's terrifying. Uh, so I, I I like Appleton. I don't think it's that bad. Sandaconda, mediocre ground type, probably just like a, another C tier. Technically another Sand Setter, but it has competition now. Veriscuta, another like Rain Abuser. It's gonna be C tier. Toxtricity, uh, C tier Pokemon. C tiers can be full of so many Pokemon. Like, I just want to let you guys know, this is how it always is with tier lists. The middle is going to be where, like, everything falls. Hatterene, another C tier. It could arguably be put B tier, but I think that, like, the prevalence of, like, Terra Steel right now is, like, really holding it back. Uh, Grimstar is going to be a B tier. It is a really great support Pokemon. It, it doesn't even have to run, like, support sets anymore. Like, it has Prankster, Light Screen, and, like, Thunder Wave and Reflect. Uh, but... Because of, like, the drop in usage of Intimidate, even offensive Grimstar is terrifying. I've seen, like, AV, Low Kick, uh, Spirit Break, Fake Out, and Sucker Punch sets. Like, that is terrifying. 
Phalanx, uh, D tier, not, not like phenomenal. Um, Pinkurchin's like a C tier, but only because it's like the only electric train Pokemon. Frostmoth is going to be a C tier because I've seen it do some stuff with Terra, but it's not like amazing. Stone Junior is another uh, C tier because I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. C tier for you. Uh, Indeedee, I actually think is like an instant A tier. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to undervalue Indeedee on their tier list, but uh, being the, like the exclusive terrain setter this gen uh, makes it like very, very good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we have been Kirchen. Like, I think we have Arboliva for like sometimes grassy terrain uh because of seed sower it's not grassy search would have been better with grassy search but uh indeedy being like the only like super reliable terrain setter follow me pokemon and also getting access access to trick room is like very good indeedy mail uh put it in like c tier paparaja it's gonna be like a trick room sheer force pokemon dragapult i actually find to be decent i think it's gonna be a b tier for me uh very scary choice band dragon darts also hits like a truck so yeah uh this is gonna be a hot take I think that Bax Caliber is actually B tier. I think it's like head and shoulders above these guys, but like bottom B tier, you know, like I can't put it into C tier. It's like a scary Pokemon. Dragon Dance, Ice Skill Spear, Glaive Rush. You can tear into whatever type you want. You're immune to burn. It's a very well thought out Pokemon. Um, This is going to be a D tier. Sorry for all the fans of Altaria. Uh, mediocre Electric type D tier. Doesn't really do much that other Electric types can't. Armor Rouge is going to be B tier. It is a very solid Pokemon. Expanding Force with a Life Orb hits a lot of things very hard. It's a good Trick Room setter. Uh, Armor Cannon, Heat Wave. It's one of the best Grass types as like a Terra Pokemon. Because um, like defensively, it like loses the Fire Weakness because of Flash Fire. Uh, and then like Energy Ball can like one shot Garchomp if uh, Garchomp Terra, Terra grounds. Uh, Belly Bolt's going to be a D tier for me. Not like notable. I don't think it's that great of a Pokemon. Bombardier is another D tier. I wish it was good. I'm actually recording a video with it soon, but it's like it gained Rock Stab as its like hidden ability, but it's not a good Pokemon. Like despite that, like you think passive Rock Stab would be like all a Pokemon needs to be great, but apparently we were wrong. Sarah Ledge, very good Pokemon. Uh, I underrated it, but like uh, people are running like, you know, Clear Amulet, uh, Bulk Up, Bitter Blade, Terra Grass, and like Shadow Claw. It's, it's a good Pokemon. So yeah. Uh, Blissey, it's gonna go, like, in the same tier as Chansey, just doesn't do much. Uh, Claude Sire, I, it's not great, it's not great, like, a lot of people get mad when I say Claude Sire is not good, but it, it's, like, I don't know why you guys get mad, because no one thinks Claude Sire is that good. Uh, it, it doesn't do much, right? It's, it's an Earth Power, Toxic, Recover Pokemon. It has Unaware, which is quite good, but, like, uh, it lacks physical bulk, and this is a very physically orientated format, so... Like, if you don't set up, you just, like, lose. Like, it, it, it requires too much effort to make it work. It's not F tier, don't get me wrong, but it, it requires too much effort to get it to, like, do anything. Um, Doc Spun, surprisingly usable. C tier. Uh, you just run, like, Lava Plume sets. It's very funny. And, like, Body Press. Don Dozo is going to be, uh, I think, actually a very solid Pokemon. Let me grab Tatsugiri as well. They're, like, the same tier because of their the fact that you, like, always run them together. Where's Tatsugiri? Tatsugiri, Tatsugiri, Tatsugiri... I'm like definitely like missing it right now. I'm like definitely like scrolling right over it. There it is. All right. So Tatsugiri is going to be solidly in B tier with Dondozo. They do the same thing. They like, what you do is you like pair them with a Pokemon that deals with Murkrow. You remove the Murkrow or like the, uh, the, um, Dondozo check, whatever it is, like Amoongus, uh, Rotoms. And then Dondozo, because it has like a million sets it can run, it can run like an offensive uh, orange Tatsugiri to like just hit things with order up and like sweep uh, and then like Earthquake or like the most annoying set that I like running right now is like rest, defense boosting Tatsugiri, body press and sleep talk with leftovers and unaware so you ignore defense boost. So yeah, like that's a good Pokemon. Like they're just amazing. All right, almost done. I, I can feel it. We're like getting to the end. Uh, I think Farigaraf is surprisingly useful. I'm going to put it as a B tier because I do think it's actually better than Orangru and like a very difficult Pokemon to stop setting up Trick Room. Uh, also decently offensively strong with like Hyper Voice and like a Throat Spray, which I've seen a few times. Gardevoir is going to be a C tier. Not that notable. Gengar is actually going to be a B tier for me. Uh, I've seen it do a lot of things that's quite scary. Icy Wind, Focus Sash, Hypnosis, Sludge Bomb, or Shadow Ball. Uh, all quite good moves. Glaceon. That's uh, a C tier. Not anything too notable. Um, I'm going to give 
Houndstone a C tier. It's really just going to be like a, a body press Will-O-Wisp machine under sand, but it doesn't actually do its job all that great. Uh, Low Kicks is another C tier. You know, tinted lens first impression hurts everything. Not anything beyond that, though. Mabostiff is a decent Intimidate Pokemon with access to Stab Snarl, Crunch, whatever you need. Pretty decent. Mousehold. Okay, Mousehold. You are A tier. How? How did you defy all the odds and end up in A tier? Scariest Pokemon in the format. I made a video talking about it yesterday. Actually, if you want to watch the why Mousehold is the scariest PGC Pokemon, just watch that after this video if you want to find out my thoughts on Mousehold. But yeah, that's an A tier. Oh my god. Insane that they actually made that thing good. Because um, stat-wise, it's garbage. Uh, Annihilate. I'm actually going to put Annihilate in A tier. Uh, a very solid Pokemon. Uh, you see it on a lot of teams. Rage Fist is terrifying. Bulk up sets are very good. But I think bulk up sets are also just like solid due to the fact that you have to respect the uh, the final Gambit max HP Choice Scarf set, which also is like super good on Trick Room teams. You just like get your Trick Room Pokemon on the field and then like unfake outable, uh, unlivable for most Pokemon, uh, final Gambit trade to KO the, uh, the Pokemon as well as your uh, Annihilate. And then you get up Trick Room. It's just like super good. Um... What else is here? Metacham, that's like a C tier. It's just a pure power fake out Pokemon. Uh, Bramblegast, pretty bad D tier, but you can make it work. Arbeliva is going to be a C tier because it's just like a bulky uh, grass type. Uh, Bruxish, C tier. I don't know why it looks like that there. Uh, Dudunsparce is going to be a D tier. Not a great Pokemon. We made it work on like a video, but like it isn't actually good. Uh, Garganical is going to be a B tier for me. Uh, it's just like another solid Iron Defense Body Press Pokemon, but Salt Cure allows you to wall out and like stall a lot of things to beat them. Um, and its ability Purifying Salt not only makes it resist ghost moves, which is very decent in this format, um, but also it is able to, uh, it is just completely immune to status. Uh, so it can't be like statused at all. So like that is, it's not like good as gold where it like covers everything, but like it covers like sleep, burn, poison, all that. Like it is very difficult to deal with. Gallade, hard counters, funny enough. Golden Go, our first S tier. I might move Garchomp into S tier, I don't know yet, but Golden Go, I made another video about Golden Go to give my full thoughts on it, but a brief rundown. Ghost, Steel type, 133 base special attack, spread Draco Meteor-esque style move that hits, you know, that's Steel type and just hits everything. Uh, lowers your special attack by one stage instead of two. Uh, immune to all status, so you can't taunt it, you can't, uh, helping hand it, funny enough, uh, you can't flatter it, anything like that, like, the, it, it, it is just a super good Pokemon, oh my god, and also, like, you can run, like, Nasty Plot Terra Flying, and, like, just break Garchomp's ankles, so, yeah, terrifying, um, Glamora is gonna be a C tier, just mediocre poison type, uh, might be decent if you want to run, like, a Hex team, but it's not super common in VGC, Kilowattrel, uh, a C tier. I don't find it to be all that great, but it is like a solid Disquake Tailwind Pokemon with Garchomp, so have to give it credit there. Uh, King Gambit is going to be a solidly B tier Pokemon for me. Uh, it is an Intimidate Pokemon. It has access to very, very strong options in Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Sucker Punch. Uh, Terra Blast Rock is a very common set for it because it allows it to beat a lot of things that uh, would beat it otherwise, so yeah. Uh, especially when Arcanine was more common, like that was the thing, but I guess now uh, they would run like Terra Water uh, because that allows you to beat other Pokemon uh, that would beat you. Uh, and also like just resist fire moves, which is quite good. So yeah. Uh, Oink alone, that's like a D tier, doesn't do anything. Scovillain is a chlorophyll Pokemon with access to fire moves. So that's like an instant C tier. You are D tier. Oh my God, you're such a bad Pokemon. Uh, Ro Rocka, Squawkabilly. Yeah, just bad. Uh, Wo Chen, not legal. Miascarada, I actually think is going to be like top of B tier. Uh, while it is like a super scary Pokemon, uh, I don't think it's quite on par with Garchomp, but it is like a very reliable Pokemon, right? Uh, you always, 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 always get a crit off a of flower trick, meaning it's the most reliable damage in the game. And with like a choice band, uh, it allows it to just like one shot so many Pokemon. I'm actually kind of tempted to put it in A tier. But I don't know if it really is above all the... You know what? Yeah, it's an A tier. I think it's it's probably A tier. Let, let's be real. It's an A tier Pokemon. Sure. All right. Uh, Orthworm, that's a C tier. It's just like a body press machine. Uh, Voltorb, or Electrode, D tier. Pseudowoodo, D tier. Fortress, it's an Iron Defense Pokemon now. 
Uh, Iron Defense Body Press user now, so like that's fine. Uh, Quillfish, decent Intimidator. Uh, your price, C tier, you don't do much. You're just like a fast fire type with, yeah, like you get outclassed by a few things actually. Dawn Fan, quite bad right now in my opinion, but not quite D tier. Uh, Tyranitar, actually very solid. Um, while Sand itself is not good, Tyranitar will never be that bad, so it solidly in B tier. It's also a decent Terra Pokemon, you know, you can like avoid getting one shot by fighting moves now. Uh, and yeah, just, just a good Pokemon. Raichu, I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's just like a good fake out, um, Lightning Rod Mon. Slacking's gonna be a D tier. You have to use it with like an ability thing. So, eh, let's put it in C tier. If you use it with like Doodle Grafia, you can do something. Hariyama, um... I want to put it in B tier. I think it's a lot better than all these guys. Fake out, uh, immune to status because you just run like Guts Will, not Guts Will, uh, Guts Flame Orb every time. Uh, it's able to Terra Normal and sweep teams with Facade, which is terrifying. I've lost to it many times. Swallow's gonna be a D tier, doesn't do anything notable. Cacturn, same deal. Um, Intimidate Mon with like Trick Room and like Skill Swap, sure, we'll put you in C tier. Zangoose, sure. Saviper, that's eh, like gonna be a D tier. Wizcash, D tier. Lele, that's an F tier, doesn't do anything. It's just like a, yeah. Um, Tropius, gonna be an F tier. It has to Terra to do anything. Uh, I'm gonna put Intimidate Guy <laughs> in D tier, or in C tier. Uh, Wigglytuff, probably not actually that bad. C tier, sure, because it has competitive. Um, D tier for you. C tier for Floatzel, because Clear Amulet plus Wave Crash is actually quite scary in Rain. I actually don't think it's a bad Pokemon anymore, uh, but it's not great. Uh, Tailwind support plus like Psychic Terrain seed proccing for Unburden. Like, yeah, it's gonna be a C tier Pokemon. Uh, D tier for you, you just don't do much. Eh, we'll put it you in C tier. You can be like an Assault Best Pokemon with Snarl. Bronzong is gonna be a. I haven't seen much of it, but it's like just a good Trick Room setter with like Iron Defense Body Press, so I do think it belongs in like C tier. Possible B tier. Like, very, very close to B tier. Uh, I'm gonna put it in B tier. Yeah. I'm gonna put Bronzong in B tier. Spiritomb, it's just like not great it's gonna be like an av snarl user like always uh abama snow the most surprising update of the generation is solidly in b tier like very solidly in b tier uh the snow buff to give it a defense boost means it like tanks close combats poison jabs iron heads uh and then it like almost always gets off its veil if it doesn't get hit by a fire move so yeah and once you get the once you get off the veil Obama so is very difficult to KO. It can run Giga Drain to annihilate uh, non-Terra Dondozos as well as wall them out if they're not the defense boosting set with Body Press. Uh, it can Terra Grass to like lose the, the ice weaknesses and also boost the power of that grass move. It's a good Pokemon. Very hard to like deny it at this point, especially since it's technically a hard Garchomp counter. That is a weird thing. Obama Snow, despite being an ice type all this time, is only now a hard Garchomp counter. Uh, Weavile, uh, I'm gonna put that in, like, top of C tier. Just, like, a solid fake-out Pokemon that's decently fast. Dugtrio, D tier, it can trap some things, I guess. Uh, Magnezone's gonna be a C tier. Not in high demand, but not a bad Pokemon at all. Very, very strong as well. Uh, Persian's gonna be a D tier, not in high demand at all. Doesn't do anything particularly well. Golduck's gonna be a C tier because it's actually, like, a decent rain abuser and the only, like, super, super good special one. So, yeah, that's, like, a good thing. Arcanine will never actually drop out of B tier, in my opinion. It's always going to be good into Golden Go, but it's like in other in other like timelines where we didn't have Clear Amulet, it would be S tier or A tier. But Arcanine's like solidly like bottom of B tier right now. Kind of sucks, honestly, uh, that like it, it fell off like, that way. Uh, just like a, another C tier Trick Room Pokemon. Muck going to be D tier, doesn't do anything particularly well. Hypnosis or Hypno as well. Palafin actually, I think is going to be... I kind of want to put it like top of C, but it's actually like good. I'm going to put it like bottom of B. You can get away with it. It's like a good Pokemon. Uh, Palmot, I'm actually going to put that in B tier. Palmot uh, won a tournament recently, and it is a very solid Pokemon. It has access to Revival Blessing, Fake Out, Dual Shock, um, or Double Shock in close combat. It's like a legit Pokemon. Very, very strong. Uh, and it hits like a truck with 115 base attack close combat. So, yeah. It's a Titan. It's going to be a B tier for me. Um... Eh, it's gonna be like a C tier, actually. I don't think it's like amazing, but it's like top of C tier again. It's not hanging out with the big boys, but on hail teams, you can get away with it. Or like snow teams, I mean. Uh, Cyclozar, that's gonna be a C tier. I'm sure it can do something, but it's not like super good in VGC. Wolf's gonna be a D tier. Water Tauros is gonna be a C tier. Uh, Quaqua Vol, it's gonna be a C tier. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It might pick up in usage later. It's a Moxie Pokemon, you know, 
good Pokemon. Uh, Reverum, that's a sad DT. I really like Reverum. Uh, Skeledurge, definitely, definitely, definitely going to go into B tier. Very good Pokemon, actually. Um, once again, not ranked, but like when I throw them towards the top, it's just to signify that I think they're good. Uh, but yeah, Skeldurge, it's an unaware Pokemon. Will-O-Wisp, Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Slack Off, usually run like a Citrus Berry. Hard Wall to Garchomp if you actually turn it into a Grass type, and that's one of the better types for it. Uh, and yeah, it's just like a really, really solid Pokemon right now. I love using it on teams, and it's like amazing next to Gothitelle, because you just trap something in, wall out any setup, and then like fake out, Torch Song, Protect, Torch Song, they're gone, and you like remove a lot of the counters uh, to the things that you have in the back. So I, I love this Pokemon. Uh, Spide Ops, I'm sorry. Listen, we'll make a Spide Ops video soon. Uh, F tier. Tinkaton, definitely gonna be a C tier mon. I've used it quite a bit, but I don't think it's like a bad C tier mon. Uh, Fake Out is, it's it's one of the only Fake Out Pokemon that can like flinch Dragonite because of, uh, uh, what is it called? Because of, uh, Mold Breaker. Rock Tomb also lowers the speed on clear body Pokemon like, uh, Dragapult. So yeah, good Pokemon. Tinkaton Hammer is also something to sleep on. Uh, I think Toad Scroll is gonna be a C tier. Uh, not on the same level as all these guys, but Toad Scroll is quite good. It's a Trick Room, Spore, Giga Drain, Earth Power Pokemon. It's never going to be bad. I think it might be better in, like, other formats, to be honest. Uh, Veluza is going to be D tier. It doesn't do anything notable, but it can, like, maybe get off setup. And Wug Trio, F tier. I believe all these Pokemon are not legal right now. Yep, looks like we got everything. So, yeah, that's my tier list. Uh, S tier, we're going to go over, like, the the top three tiers, just to explain once more. S tier, Golden Go, definitely the best Pokemon in the format. A tier, Murkrow, Torkoal, um, Garchomp, Amoongus, Hydreigon, uh, Indeedee, Mousehold, Annihilate, and Meowscarada. These Pokemon are all Pokemon that are the top of their role. Nothing does it better. Uh, or they're exclusive in their role, and they have no like alternatives, or their Mousehold, or their Mousehold. Uh, B tier, these are going to be all the like, like solid Pokemon that you'll find on your team that are like usable, good, very reliable, and like just whether or not you use them depends on your archetype build. Um, and then like C tier, these are gonna be like the fringe Pokemon that you'll sometimes find a use for on a team or you'll explicitly be building to use and they'll do their job pretty well, uh, it, but like they'll definitely be like not optimal. Uh, keep in mind, like, my Tinkaton team that I'm gonna release a rental code for tomorrow. Like, that's the sort of thing that belongs in this tier. Like, it does work on the team, and it's, like, a very solid Pokemon, but it's not, like, top tier at all. Uh, D tier, just the Pokemon that are gonna be similar to, like, C tier, but much, much, much less reliable and difficult to make work. And F tier, the Pokemon that I highly recommend you don't use, because they're gonna be very difficult to get away with. So, yeah, that's my tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, and, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.